Hey friends and welcome to my humble abode. I'm in my new apartment, so I have a little bit different of a filming setup and I hope it works out okay for all of us. So today, what I want to talk about was shopping Universal Standard. So to be completely transparent, I work with Universal Standard for content for Instagram. Um, they are not paying me for this YouTube video, but I do receive these clothes gifted. That makes a big difference um, in, you know, obviously the amount of clothes I get, but it does not change my opinion on the clothes. So I'll make sure to, hear, to share my honest opinion. Maeve is currently climbing the camera tripod, so uh, maybe boo. <laughs> the culprit oh my goodness um so um but one of the things i am kind of interested in doing is showing you some clothing from brands but also talking to you about the ways you can shop them because i am realizing as i talk to people that i have not truly taken stock of the fact that i know a lot about these plus size brands that the everyday consumer does not know that would be helpful for them so Let's do a little inside look at Universal Standard. I'm gonna show you the fit of some items and we'll go from there. So this first dress is the Athena Long Sleeve Divine Jersey Dress in burnished brown and it's size medium 18 to 20. Now, um, one of the things that you're gonna notice and I think is some of the like criticisms that I see about Universal Standard, at least that I've heard from my friends, is that they don't have many patterns, they do have some, and they tend to have the same colors available in multiple styles. And when I went recently, one of the ways you can shop them is they do trunk shows in different cities. Now, I happen to live in Charlotte. They had one in Charlotte. That's how I was able to go. Um, I realize that's not an option for everyone. They might not come to a city near you. You might not live near a city. But when I talked to the stylist there, what they said is as they bring out new styles, they try them out in a couple of the colors that they know will sell. So we're gonna see neutrals. And then once they see the popularity of those styles, that's when you're gonna see more variations in colors and so on. And of course, they do tend to have seasonal color palettes. So some of the items I'm showing you today are from winter, so they're darker. And then I also have a couple from the resort wear, which is meant for, you know, going to a resort somewhere fancy. And those have some lighter colors, but also some neutrals. So that's something to keep in mind with Universal Standard as you buy them. They are a little bit higher priced, but they're very well made. The fit, is incredible the fabrics are great but these might be what some people would see like simpler designs and that's because they're meant to last beyond trends um, so this dress for example is in this beautiful brown which I personally love it is kind of like what I would consider a raisin color um, which so it's, it's a purpley brown which I really love um, it has this beautiful v-neck here it's wide but not so wide that your bra straps are going to be showing Again, I'm wearing the medium 1820, so universal standard sizing sometimes confuses people. They set their medium to the average size of Americans. So the average size of Americans is 1820, so that's why it's a medium. They go down to what they consider a 3XS, which is like the double zero. And then I wanna say they go up to 6XL maybe? It's a, it's a 3840. Um, so they have a very wide, size range which makes them a company in my mind that we need um people size 30 and up have so few options for clothing and granted this is an option that costs more but to be able to actually get a well-fitting pair of jeans to get styles that can fit someone a size 2 and 18 and 24 and 38 is amazing in my point of view so I really love the fit of this dress. It's long sleeve. I'm 5'4", and it comes a little bit extended beyond my wrist. Um, I am a shorter person, so that's what I expect. I also have narrow shoulders, and in my opinion, this fits pretty well. It's slightly longer, but nothing that anyone else would notice. So it's going to work for the majority of people, and the fabric is stretchy, so if you have a wider shoulder, you're not going to have issues. It does have pockets. And I do think they're in a good place. They're kind of lower in the hip. They're in the natural kind of A-line that dress is going down. It does have a high-low hem. The front is a little bit shorter. The back is a little bit longer. And hopefully I'm back enough for you to see this. Um, so I just think this piece is cut perfectly. Again, I'm 5'4", so this is definitely maxi length on me. And if you're taller, it might come up a little bit more T-length. 
So why don't I show you some different categories of items? The first one's gonna be coats and jackets, and I realize we're moving out of coat and jacket season, so who knows, like maybe you'll see some of this stuff on sale. I will say, Universal Standard, even though they are a higher price brand, a lot of their things go on sale and they have great seasonal sales. So um, the jackets actually at some point went on sale for 25 or 35, and I did scoop up some with my own money. Um, they also do like mystery box sales where you can get some great items. Obviously you don't get to pick them, so you're, you're kind of easing in to the mystery aspect of it. And now they're starting to do monthly mystery boxes, which I'm really interested to see what happens with that. I think it gets you a chance um, to try some items at a lower price. It allows them to try out some styles and get feedback um, and also work with whatever kind of extras they have of different sizes. Okay, so I'm going to show you this one first, and you're probably going to be mad at me because I don't believe this style is on sale anymore. So sorry. So this is the Parker Leather Jacket. They are known for having excellent leather jackets that are priced for real genuine leather that's well made. So I want to say their, their leather jackets are often in like the $6.98, like almost $700. They're famous for their motor jacket, which is called the Leron. And then I, at a um, the styling event, got to try on their leather blazer. And oh my gosh, that blazer, I've been dreaming about it ever since. The fit was amazing. I've actually bought two um, polyurethane faux leather blazers since then, and they don't fit well. I'm having to return them. Um, now listen, a leather blazer is not something I need, so I can let that one go, but do I think it's a quality piece? Absolutely. So Universal Standard, like a lot of different brands, the community around it, people who love the brand, have created Facebook groups where you can do buy, sell, and trade. So there is a Universal Standard buy, sell, trade group that I am part of. And someone posted this because they were cleaning out their closet in the size I wanted, which was a size small, which is a 14, 16. They said this style fit larger, so it fit more like an 18, 20. And I got this for a used price, so more than half off of what their other leather jackets are. Now, ever since I've gotten this, A, the fabric and quality is amazing. I would love for them to bring back the style for other people to get, but maybe one day they will. I do have larger arms with hangy skin, so I always gotta do a little jiggle jangle to get in there. But I just think this jacket fits me perfectly. Um, yes, I could button if I so choose, but when I do button it, it is fitted, and I'm okay with that. I like that for this jacket. For the most part, I'm gonna wear it open, and it, it sits open without being too large or anything. The length is great, the fabric is great. I've been wearing this nonstop. And I just think if you are looking for real leather jackets, um, and again, in a range of sizes, theirs are quality. Um, I really like all of them. And I tried on the Leron at my styling event. I tried on the leather blazer. I just think they're really quality pieces that you would have to save up for and make an investment in. So you'd wanna really think about whether or not they're the ones for you. You do sometimes get them in mystery boxes, but that's like, you hit the jackpot. You know, I don't think you can. I don't think you can wish yourself into getting a leather jacket in the mystery box. Okay, the next jacket I want to show you is what's called the Kelsey jacket, and they have it in different fabrics and textures with the same cut. And this is the one that I have multiple of. So this is the first one I got. Um, it was. It's a corduroy jacket with a shirling collar and this beautiful olivey brown and it's very comfortable. I got the first one in a medium, which is an 1820 again. And I really think a, it's comfy, it's warm, but it adds some texture for that layering. Now, again, I think this fits a little large. Now it's fine, no one's gonna be like, you're wearing something too big for yourself, but I can like double wrap it. And I do like more fitted clothing. Other people are different. They like things that fit a little bit looser. So my first one I got in a medium. I actually did get this in a cream color in a small. And then there are some different kinds of fabrics if you want something besides corduroy. Next version of the jacket is the denim one. And I got kind of like the washed black denim jacket. Um, this is a nice stretchy jacket. And I am bad about not taking off tags, so ignore that. This one again fits so nicely. 
The material is nice and stretchy. It's gonna move with you. The, the cuffs do button. And so you can unbutton and roll up, which I tend to wear denim jackets a lot in the spring. So being able to do this and it get warm and me being able to do this, you know, action to it is helpful to me. Now, all of these styles have kind of the pocket on the chest and then let's see if I can adjust the lighting. Has a pocket on the chest and then also has pockets here in the front with the button closure all the way down. So again, super comfortable. I'm not gonna show you the last one on because obviously you know what this jacket looks like at this point. But I did start going with the small size because I wanted it to be a little bit more fitted. This one is the Teddy Coat and it is just purely Sherpa material, all right? So purely Sherpa material, same fit. It's just in a size down and that to me fit better. Um, it's a little bit more fitted, that's what I wanted. Now, if you want to put like sweaters and stuff under it, then you go with your normal size. But if you want it more fitted, you could size down one. Universal Standard is very much so known for their denim. So that's what I want to show you next. I have a lot of their denim. I'm going to show you a couple try on right now. I don't know if I'll put in pictures of other ones that I've worn, but I have a lot of their denim. And I love pretty much any style that is their high rise because for me, their high rise is actually high rise, which is my favorite. Um, so the first one I'm going to show you is their Jackie um, denim. I have this in two colors, a medium denim and a light denim. It does have um, an unfinished hem, which means that it is going to fray over time. You want this for style. If you don't want this, there's other styles that do have finished hems. Um, some of my favorites are their classic Sien pants, Sien jean. Um, I really love their Riviera. And that used to be in a skinny jean style, but now because People are wearing less skinny jeans and people want more variety in jean styles. They brought out a boot cut and I have that. Beautiful, fits great. Um, so this is my recent obsession, which is the Jackie, which is a little bit shorter of like a cropped kind of wider leg. It's, it's a wide leg crop, I think is what they would call it. I'm going to try that on with one of their boat neck tees. I'm trying to remember which one this is called. Let's see. This is the Bella boat neck tee and I did get it in a 14, 16. The jeans are a size 20. So let's see what these two items look like on. Okay, so here we have on the Jackie jean. Again, I'm gonna try to get far enough back that you can actually see the hemline, but I'm 5'4", so they go down to my ankle. I mean, you know, I'm sure it is what it is, but I do still like the length because it is enough crop that my shoes really show with this style. Um, now, Please don't hurt yourself, thank you. Um, the jean itself comes up pretty high, so my belly button is right here. The jean is above my belly button. The fabric is nice and stretchy, so, you know, as I sit down for the day, it is coming with me. It is not restricting and pushing into my stomach, which is important, I don't like that feeling. Comes up nice and high in the back, and then this tee is just a great basic tee, you know? They do do their classics really well. I love a boat neck style. I like this cut. Um, it's, for me, who like works in a school, it's nice and high and conservative if I need it that day, while also giving me room to breathe around my neck. I also like a, you know, um, elbow length sleeve, so that feels really nice to me. I'd wear this all the time. Um, so. My favorite products from Universal Standard are their denim. And not everyone's a denim person, but if you like denim, if you like jeans, that would be one of the first things I'd say to try out from them if, if there's a style that intrigues you. Now, I recently picked up this, which is one of their newer styles, and it is called the Main Stretch Flannel Shirt. I, online, they do on their website have like size guides that tell you if you need to size up or down from your typical size. Because sometimes, you know, they go and sell things and then they end up realizing it runs a little bit differently. So this is specifically, specifically, said to go down a size from your normal size unless you wanted it to be oversized. So I picked it up in the small, which again is a 1416. I am an 1820 and you'll be able to see how this fits. 
If I wanted to button it up all the way, I could. This also has buttons on the sleeve. So I already had them undone because when I wore it the other day, I got warm and then I did, you know, this little number. Um, now this flannel, because I've gotten flannels from like Old Navy and things like that before, and they always feel kind of like scratchy. Like I don't really love flannel pajamas. This flannel is soft and has like a stretch to it. It is not going to feel restricting in any way. It's just very comfortable soft. And it's also not overly warm. Like when I got warm the other day, it was because I was helping my friend move. I mean, I was helping her pack things, you know? I was doing physical activity. Otherwise, I feel like this would be something I could easily wear layered um, in an indoor setting. They also have this little button up here at the neck. So you do your normal button and then you can button it again. Um, just so you know, for styling purposes. Now, again, I don't wear this often. I do know you can do like a little thing if you want to tie it or something and make it look a little different. That might be something I do sometime, but it is just a nice flannel in general if you want that style, if you want to pop a plaid. And they have this in a couple different colors. This one is obviously like an olive green and black. The next thing I want to show you is their overalls because I find it really hard to find like specialty denim pieces that fit well. And actually I had these overalls when I was a larger size. So I'm gonna insert a little clip of me wearing them here. Um, so I wanted to reorder them in my current size. So I got them in a medium, which again is the 1820. And I like the black. I haven't, I don't know if I can commit to like blue denim overalls yet. I don't know. Maybe I have a little bit of a hang up of like, do I want to be Farmer Rebecca? I don't know. I'm sure there's really ways of wearing it in a cute way, but I'm down for the like wash black overall. So we're going to do that. And then I also have another boat neck tee. Um, this one is a size medium, 1820. And this one is the long sleeve Bella boat neck. So same as this, but long sleeve version in like a nice, again, plum brown uh, for the style. Okay, so I'm putting <laughs> my overalls on. And again, this top is really long. So now that I'm in a bigger size coming down like all the way into my thighs. So if you like a long top, and you want to be able to tuck it in, it is nice. I mean, it's a thin material, so if you tuck it, it's not like it's going to be doing weird things to bunch up. All right, so the nice thing about the overalls is, like, I can leave one side done and then get in there because they have these buttons here on the side. And actually, I want to... How do I do this? Oh, no, that's correct. I thought maybe you could tighten it here. And I guess you could, but... All right, so it has these buttons here on the side that you can undo. It comes up here and then it also latches one across right here at the waist. If I were to change anything about this, this um, overall, it would be to give slightly, cause right, right here's the waistband, half an inch more, half an inch more, even maybe, and just pull this up slightly. But I guess, honestly, it stretches and it just went there. I just needed to adjust. So now to get in, I just, button myself up these are really easy to button it does have overlapping fabric so you don't have to worry about anything showing i did it all by myself pull this over and we're good and i'm gonna i'm a short girly so again gotta adjust the straps but now we have you know our overalls and i do think they are super cute and i've worn these in the past a little bit rolled up with boots adorable I'm, I'm just gonna say i looked adorable okay they do have like deep pockets and then obviously you have like your little two overall pockets i do think the way they engineered it is nice because it does come in slightly here although of course like i have a large bum so it's not going to show all of that but it does do it pretty well in terms of actually adjusting to your body shape um so i do like that so these are the overalls with the top I had, and I like them. Again, I would maybe make them slightly longer, and maybe I just need to adjust myself and adjust these. But, you know, depending on your shape, you may or may not have a belly to contend with, and I definitely do. So 
I think they're adorable. And again, like stretch, stretch denim. These are comfy. When I sit again, everything molds with me. Nothing is pressing in on me. Love. Last thing I'm going to show you is their resort collection, which again is like spring is coming. Everyone's going on vacation to resort. I'm not because I'm poor, but you might be. Um, and also these styles are cute for summer. Now, I, if I'm shopping pretty much anywhere, I don't shop without a coupon code. So Universal Standard sometimes has sales going, but they almost always have ambassador codes. A, you need to get on their email list because they'll send out secret sales to the email list subscribers. B, ambassador codes. What you can do is like, obviously Google someone's content like mine and we'll probably have ours listed in the description, but also a little trick of the trade. I go onto Instagram to a brand and I look at their recently like tagged posts and oftentimes there's an ambassador in there sharing a code. Um, the ambassadors do tend to earn commission off of that. So, you know, you're giving, you're giving a little bit of slice of the money to someone else, but you're also probably getting 10 to 20% off. So I always go look for an ambassador code. Mine's down in the description, but again, I earn commissions off that full transparency. And if they don't have that, then, you know, I do wait for a sale. I, I really, in this day and age, don't buy anything full price because I'm a girl on a budget, you know? And there are ways to shop Universal Standard with a budget in mind. Okay, let's look at the springy clothes because I'm excited for it. Okay, first up is this beautiful, like, bodycon dress. It is called the Kai High Neck Tank Dress in Midnight. Size medium, 1820. And I would say if you want a larger size, go up one. But this is supposed to be like a body fitting tank dress. Now, do I imagine myself with a straw hat, some sandals, walking down the boardwalk, walking at the beach? Absolutely. I love the curved hem at the bottom and how it goes up at the same angle on both sides. The fit is really nice. It is, again, more of a form fitting fit. The material is stretchy. I'm trying to figure out how to film this. I'm so used to doing vertical now. The neckline is really nice as well. I just think this, this dress fits beautifully. It really highlights that curve right here. I love it. Um, I think these kind of dresses you can really do anything with. Throw on a jacket, depending on your jewelry and accessories, it looks like you're going out for the night or it looks like you're very casual going to the grocery store. There's so many good purposes with this one. And I do love the color palette of the resort. So this one again is a midnight color. Um, I think the other color I have been open to was called From Japan. So maybe I'll put a picture of it here. Um, and then I they have like these really, this might be that color, I don't know, but this is like a tomatoey red color. They also have some prints. So I'm loving the vibe of their resort collection. I'm excited to see what they end up doing for actual summer collection. Okay, on to the next. So this dress is a Bellport Sateen crossover dress in shadow palm, and I got this in a size small. And I was trying to remember why I got it in a size small. Um, I think it's because really the only place this dress is fitted is right here in the bust and right here in the waistline. But the waist has a stretch panel here in the back, so you actually have a lot more room here. Um, than you might anticipate. So I'm glad I did go with the small. My my chest is not quite as full as it used to be, so this actually ended up fitting perfectly. I love the ballet tee, or not ballet, the tee length of the skirt. I really am into this print. I like the shadow palm. I think it's really gorgeous, and I like the fit. Now this, again, is a dress that I feel like, depending on what you wear, you could go to the ballet <laughs> or you could go out on a patio somewhere and have a really nice dinner and just be chill. Um, it does have pockets. This material in general is that sateen. Now it's not a shiny sateen, um, but it has a little bit more crispness to it. So it's a little bit more billowy and airy. It's going to kind of capture that movement as you walk around. Um, so I would say fit this to your chest and your upper waist because that's really the only areas that it's fitted and then down here in the hips There's lots of room. So if you're a larger on the bottom go with your top size for this dress I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so I don't actually have the swimsuit name in my email where I placed My preferences, but this is the swimsuit in a sunfire in a size medium and um, Sunfire it is I do love this like fiery orange red. I think it's really stunning. It's going to look so good on so many different skin tones. 
Um, this is my first swimsuit from Universal Standard, so I didn't really know what to expect. And I do have some thoughts. Now, if you're new to my channel, some vulnerabilities I have is that my body has changed a lot in the last two years. And I am, quite frankly, just softer and, and, what's the word? Softer and saggier than I was in the past. And it means that my body hangs in different ways than it used to hang. It's still a big body, it just hangs differently than it used to. And that does mean that like really up here in the chest, I would love more support. So there's really nothing here. I mean, there is a seam um, right underneath the bust, but it's not enough to do much for me. And I think the reason it's not enough to do that for me is because I actually need a longer torso. Um, so even though I am fitting into 1820 clothes, my belly sags, um, I might need a longer length. I probably could go up a size because the top part is a tie adjustment. So I doubt that going up one size would make the bottoms like too big on me. Um, but I do appreciate that like in some swimsuits, the cuts are so high on the leg that like your privates are falling out. So I appreciate that everything is covered appropriately. And I'm curious to hear like it might be something where I don't feel boosted but everything looks fine and you can tell me in the comments it does have this little like cross tie here that actually is just style it doesn't really do much it's not like you're cinching this part the top is where it cinches and it comes across as a bit of a halter cross your back and then you tie it here in the middle i do like how high the the back of the bottom comes up to me that's really nice and i like that feature you can adjust the bottoms to show as little or as much as you like. I think that's kind of the natural fit for me. Um, and I do think it's a really nice quality swimsuit. I would like, again, and, and maybe it was a long torso girl, and I gotta accept it, one more inch. If I had one more inch here and the seam underneath the bust was an inch higher, that would be perfect for me. Um, so that's just the case for me. Um, but again, gorgeous color, love the style, and they have multiple pieces in this color if you don't want it for a swimsuit, but you would want it for something else. Now, the last piece I'm gonna show you is their linen pants that are part of the resort collection. I'm kind of in love with these. A, I love the tortoise buttons, and I like that even though it looks like it's a button enclosure, it's actually a zip enclosure with faux buttons. Smart, I love smartly designed clothing. So let's pop these babies on and then we'll finish up the video. This might be my favorite pair of like non-denim pants I've ever tried on. So these are the coastal linen pants in black. They come in other colors. They come in like a deep turquoise, which I'm kind of intrigued to get. The fit is just so good. So again, we have that like faux button enclosure, which I think is really nice. It comes up very high. My belly button's down here. So a good two inches above my belly button. I'm 5'4", so keep that in mind. What I think makes them so comfy is in the back, there is a stretch panel. So it's gonna A, come and, and adjust whatever your body shape is, but also then be comfortable as we sit, and it's not gonna be funky or not breathable. The material is a linen, um, and so it has minor stretch to it. I got a medium, 1820, so I feel like these fit really well for the size. I'm 5'4", it comes to the tops of my feet. It has a line down the leg, which I think is a beautiful style design. I also really like the cut of the pockets. If you can see those, it has a style line all the way down. So it's just a really beautiful pant that I think would go so well with so many tops. Um, this one I might invest my own money in getting another um, style and another color because I just think I'm gonna wear these a lot this summer. I love kind of like the the straight slash maybe a little bit wide width to it. Um, it's just a gorgeous piece in my opinion. So I'm really happy with the variety of styles that Universal Standard offers and the sizing is great. I mean, if you follow the size guide and you look at each individual item and it tells you whether to stay the true size or not, you really can trust those things. Their thing is fit. And every time they go and do one of these trunk shows, which again travels around the United States, they're getting feedback on fit and they're seeing it on bodies everywhere and so many bodies are shaped differently right so they're able to get more information about that side up some items are cut more straight 
keep that in mind. Some items are cut with more curves in it, keep that in mind because all of those things are going to affect the way those items fit you. I hope this video served as a good introduction to the brand for you if you are Universal Standard or at least gave you some more information about Universal Standard and how I shop it. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments and if you like this style of video and if there's a brand that you're wondering how to shop, let me know in the comments. Thank you so much. Oh, I do want to mention I have a podcast with some of my friends, so I'm going to link it down in the description. I hope you come visit us and share in more like conversational things about being plus size and yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.